Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show how to configure immutability policies for storage containers. Immutable storage stores the business critical data in warm state. And once the data is created, it cannot be changed or modified. So it is a data protection method which can be achieved by setting up the immutability policies. And the Azure Blob Storage supports two types of immutability policies. One is time-based retention policy and the another one is legal hold policies. I have already created a video explaining the concepts of both these policies. And you can find the link in the description of this video. Though both of these policies are subdivided into container level and the version level policies. And in this video, I'll be focusing only on the container level policies. So let's start the configuration of container level policies on Azure storage account. I'll first create a storage account. Click on create. Create a new resource group. RG lab storage account name ST I'm in Australia East A U E A my name zero one I think this should be available normal standard storage let's configure LRS and review and create We'll use all the default configuration here. And once the storage account is created, we'll create the containers in the storage account because I'll be applying the container level immutability policies here. So let's wait for the storage account to be created. Storage account is created now. Let's, let's go to storage account. Go to containers. Create a new container. Test container. create. Now this container is created. Let's click on this container and in the settings, go to the access policies. Now you see stored access policies that is different, but we'll be focusing on immutable blob storage. So let's add a policy. And here in the policy type, there are two options, time-based retention and legal hold. First, let's cover the time-based retention. Let's select time-based retention. And because you will not be able to modify or delete the data for that specific retention period, and you can't even delete the container or the delete the storage account. So in that case, I'll just set it up as one day. Enable version level immutability? No, because we are just setting up container level policies. So I'll not enable this. And now there are three options here. Allow protected append rights to none append blobs and block and append blobs. In the case of the none, all the append rights will be protected. However, in the case of the append blobs, it works like the log files. So the same blob will be appended with more data based on the application. If you have a certain application using the API where blob is appended, once it's created in the blob storage, in that case, you have to select this option. Otherwise your application will start failing. And the third one is block and append blob. Some applications like data lake, they use the API where the application creates the multiple blocks of data and then and then use them as a single blob. In that case, append should be allowed. Otherwise, the application will start failing. But in this scenario, this is a lab. We'll just set up none and save. And as you can see now, time-based retention policies, scope is container, one day, and the policy is unlocked. Now let's create a sample file in the container and test whether the immutability is working or not. Let's go to container, test container, and create a test file first. Notepad, test file. On the desktop, I'll save it as test file. Test underscore file dot txt. Let's upload the file from the desktop, test file, and upload. The file is uploaded now. Now let's try to delete this file. Delete. Are you sure you want to delete the selected blob? In the third option, you can clearly see if an immutability policy is applied to a blob, the blob will not be deleted. Okay. And the operation has failed because of the immutable policy, which is applied. Let's go to the access policies and click on edit. Now we can update the retention period here because it's in unlocked state. So there are other option is lock policy, policy audit. 
which is just showing um, it's for one day. And the th last one is delete. So let's try to delete the unlock policy, whether we are able to delete the unlock policy or not. If we have created a retention based policy and it's in unlock state, we can delete the policy or change the retention of the policy too. Let's create the policy again quickly. Time based retention for one day. Save. Now let's try to change the retention to two days. And it worked. As you can see now it's changed to two days. Let's change it back to one. And then we'll lock this policy. Let's lock the policy now. Let's write yes for confirmation. And it's locked now. Now the policy is locked, which means retention cannot be reduced of the policy and it cannot be deleted. As you can see, the delete option is removed now. However, you can increase the retention period of this policy. So let's try to change it to two days. Now the retention is changed to two days and the retention is increased successfully, which means in the case of time based retention policy, when it's in locked state, the policy cannot be removed or deleted and the retention of the policy can only be increased, not decreased. Now let's set up the legal hold policies on the container. Add policy, legal hold, you have to add a tag in the case of the legal hold policy. Just write legal one. And in this case also, we are not allowing the append rights. Select as a none and save. Now in the case of the legal hold, you can see that retention is indefinite, which means there is no specific retention that has to be provided or specified during the legal hold policies. And once the legal hold policy is applied, the blobs in the container cannot be modified or deleted. And we can edit the legal hold policy. We can apply more tags or change the append rights, or you can even delete the policy from here. So if we'll delete the policy and save, the legal hold policy will be deleted. In this case, because we have applied two policies together, so the still the immutability will work. But in case you are just applying the legal hold policy, in that case, whenever the business requirement has met, you can remove the legal hold policies and then you can delete your data or the container or the storage account. But in this case, we have time based retention policies, which is applied for two days and it's logged. So that means after two days, this policy will be expired and then I'll be able to delete the container as well as the storage account. So to summarize this video, in this video, we have configured the time based retention policies as well as the legal hold policies at the container level. And the difference between these policies is time based retention policies. Once it's applied for a specific duration, it cannot be deleted if it's locked. However, the legal hold policies till the policy is applied, the immutability works and based on your business requirement, you can delete the policy whenever you want. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.